Hi guys, this is Katie, the CEO and founder of Certum Solutions. Today's video has to do with reconciling credit card accounts. In particular, this video is actually about reconciling corporate accounts that have uh, child accounts underneath. So for today's demonstration, we're going to have a couple fictitious employees, Bob and Sally. Bob and Sally both have their own credit card account underneath the corporate umbrella account. I'm going to go ahead and get started at this time. So to get, to get started when you have a situation like this, it can be very confusing if you're trying to track them individually. But we're going to work around that by going to our chart of accounts, which is accessible by the gear up here. Okay. Okay. And you can see here's our chart of accounts, but we're going to go ahead and add a new account today. We're going to make the account type a credit card. And we're going to call that corporate credit card. I like to put the last four digits of each one of the cards at the end of it so I can identify them when doing my bank recs. You don't have to, but whatever you do, the important thing is to be consistent. If you don't fill out the description field right here, there's not a ton of uh, uh, consequences as a result of that, except if you run certain list reports and things, it may not show you a description in the description field, okay? If you see this is sub account piece, that's going to be important in a minute. It is not important yet. We're going to save and close at this time. You can see the corporate credit card is listed here. We are not done. Let's go ahead and hit new again. We're going to hit credit card and we're going to enter Bob's corporate card. And even though I know it's never sequential, we're going to go ahead and make it 5,001. Okay, this time we will use the sub account field. We're going to go ahead and let people know that this is part of the corporate credit card umbrella. Let's go ahead and save and new this time. I spoke to a Sally today, so she was super cool, really enjoyed our conversation. I'm going to call this Sally's Corporate Card X5002. Sally's Corporate Card. And again, same as before, we want to make it a sub account. If we didn't use two cards for this, it wouldn't be any fun. So we go ahead and do our second card. We hit save and close. Now you can see we've got our corporate card set up and we have our child cards set up below. And again, it wouldn't be fun if we didn't have activity. So let's go ahead and enter a couple charges. I'm going to go ahead and enter expenses. So for Bob, we're going to pretend Bob went on a trip. Not that many of us are right now, but we're going to go ahead and say he did. And we're going to say he rented a car from Hertz. And we're going to go ahead and say that it was with Bob. Now, if you have bank rules or bank accounts or bank feeds, I'm sorry, set up, this will actually come in automatically. You'll be able to match them. I'm in a sample company and it won't give me that ability. So I'm just entering these by hand. OK, so we're going to go ahead and say this is a travel expense. Car rental. If I can type and we're going to say five hundred dollars. Okay, now it's not billable at this time. It's not taxable at this time. I like to never leave the customer field blank. So I'm adding an internal customer. Okay, now travel car rental, $500. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and hit save and new because we need to enter a transaction for Sally. Let me make sure actually that I entered this on Bob's card. I did. Okay, perfect. I was doubting myself for a moment. Okay, now let's say Sally goes to Cheesecake Factory because I miss Cheesecake Factory. And she's taking a customer to lunch. Okay, so we're gonna mark this as Sally's. And then we're gonna do meals and entertainment. And do we need a reason? Cheesecake. So I'm gonna make this for $100, okay? And this time we will pick a customer because I'm going to say that we actually took Amy over to Cheesecake Factory. Now, we've made that $100. We've made the other one from Bob $500. So I know if you're watching this, you can do math. So we're looking at about a $600 balance. You can see how all that rolls up, okay? 
Again, this would not be any fun if we did not have a payment to this card. So I'm going to go ahead and record a transfer from my checking account to pay off my corporate card. I'm going to do something important here. You're going to notice that I didn't pick Bob's card and I didn't pick Sally's card. I picked my main card. Okay. And I'm going to call this credit card payment. You know, you may have different nomenclature. Usually um, I do too, but just for the ease of this video, we're going to call it credit card payment. Save and close. And I deliberately made that not a full payment because you'll see what I'm going to do next. Okay. So now it's time for us to reconcile this. So we're going to go back to our little gear and we're going to click reconcile. We're going to say get started, which only get that the first time. Let's just do maybe later. X you out. I love all these alerts. They're not going to let us forget anything today, are they? So we need to reconcile our credit card and we're really confused because each one has a different balance and we don't know where to apply this payment because we didn't pay the whole thing off. So what do we do? Okay. We paid off everything but $50. So our ending balance on our statement is $50. If you did have finance charges, which you usually do, you can enter those here. Okay. And I'm going to make it today's date and hit start reconciling. Now, what you'll notice here is, goodness gracious, um, we have a $550 payment from the checking. We have our yummy, yummy meal from the Cheesecake Factory here for $100, where we took, I believe, Amy out to lunch. And then I have my transaction here with Hertz, where Bob was going on his trip. We know that that's been paid for. We also know we have a $50 balance. You'll see that the clear balance and the statement ending balance now matches. And our total difference is zero. So we'll just click finish. And you'll get told that it was reconciled well. You hit done and you're done. You can even go here into your history by account and see where you just reconciled the account. Okay. If you like printing reports, um, I know some of us old school people are used to printing out those, uh, the detailed reconciliation report and the summary report. You can still do that from here. It's not necessary. It's saved here. Um, but if you like to print them, you can definitely do so. But in the meantime, guess what we did? We reconciled our accounts. OK, now that's today's question. Send me your question using the form on our website, www.certumsolutions.com, or you can put one in the comments here on my YouTube channel. Whatever you do, let me know what your questions are, because I love turning problems into solutions and my team is here for whatever you need. Thank you so much. Have a great day and watch us.